A gag order was placed on teen mom Janelle Evans' Child Protective Services case after her 14-year-old son, Jace, became agitated at her public comments endorsing her husband David Eason, who is accused of abusing children. A source exclusively revealed to the U.S. Sun that a judge will approve a gag order in Jace's CPS case on Monday afternoon claims that the teen has experienced additional emotional distress as a result of Janelle's posts regarding her son's mental health and her support of her husband David, 35, who is accused of abusing the child. The unnamed source stated that CPS had made the request for the gag order last week. According to the source, CPS has also gotten in touch with Jace's father, Andrew Charles Lewis, who is a party to the case despite never having known the 14-year-old. Andrew acknowledged the gag order when contacted by the U.S. Sun. It cannot be discussed, clearly. Sorry, it's been officially muzzled, Andrew remarked, declining to elaborate. Although the exact penalties the court will apply in the event that the gag order is broken are unknown, they usually consist of anything from jail time to monetary damages. Following an alleged attack on the teen in late September, David was charged with child abuse in late October. On November 29, David was scheduled to appear in court over his alleged child abuse, but he did not show up. Rather, a local lawyer represented him and asked for a postponement because the lawyer David retained is maternity leave until January. He is expected in court on January 18 and the judge granted the continuance. Janelle defended her husband in a Daily Mail comment following the filing of criminal charges against David, attributing the family's legal problems to her son's mental illness. According to Janelle, the publication, right now, the police are investigating the wrong person. Something disgusting is happening, and it has nothing to do with my spouse. This is a biased account. No interviews were done to find out what was going on at the time of the event. I cannot stress enough that this is about my son's mental health and not about my husband, thus I am unable to provide any information at this moment. When the time comes, we will get our chance to submit the evidence that has been accumulating since 2017 in court, and no, it has nothing to do with my spouse. For the sake of my family's well-being and my own mental health, I would really like seclusion right now. Janelle has been criticizing her mother Barbara on social media, blaming Jace's mental health on multiple times, and continuing to show her support for David. David is charged with beating Janelle's oldest kid, Jace, on September 28 in front of a neighbor's house in North Carolina. Jace is said to have been attacked by the teen mom to Alam before making a third escape. According to court records, first made public by the U.S. Sun, David willingly harmed his stepson by leaving marks on his arm and neck. According to the court filing, the defendant, being the parent of Jace V. Evans, who was a minor, under the age of 16, did so unlawfully and voluntarily inflict physical harm on that child. The physical injury inflicted caused marks on their right arm and left and right side of the neck and was inflicted by other than accidental means. Jace was placed under the care of Child Protective Services following the purported event. After that, his grandma Barbara took up the teenager's care. However, Jace went away from his grandmother's house for roughly two days, as authorities discovered in mid-November. Following the most recent episode, he was admitted to the hospital and is still being monitored by a physician. Following the alleged attack, Child Protective Services questioned David's 16-year-old daughter, Marisa, according to information exclusively provided to the U.S. Sun. Marisa has spoken to CPS by now, and it was supposed to be with Janelle and David's lawyer present, according to an insider. Janelle has also had at least one conversation with CPS regarding her daughter Inslee, who she has with David and her son Kaiser, whom she shares with her former partner Nathan Griffith. Jace hasn't spoken to Janelle since David's purported attack, a source informed the U.S. Sun. Jace has not spoken to Janelle since the incident, and Janelle hasn't reached out to try to talk to him, 
either, a source said. A judge decided last month that Janelle, 31, cannot see or talk to the teenager until he makes the first move to make contact. Meanwhile, other sources claim that David has been barred from having any communication at all with Jace.